Howdy, this is Chuck with Simply Nuck, and this is the new Wall Street Canyon from Simply Nuck. The Wall Street Canyon fulfills both the consumer and commercial product, replacing both the uh, Panther Canyon on the consumer product line and the Tiger Canyon on the commercial product line. It comes in a variety of processors and options to scale from low-end Core i3 all the way up to i7 V Pro. With its remote headless operation and, and expandable features, it's great for desktop replacement, digital signage, remote operations where it's headless, and much more. And we're gonna take a look at it today. Starting with the front, on the right side, we have our illuminated power button. And so this will indicate when it's off, on, or in standby. We have our 3.5 millimeter HD audio jack. And this is four pin, so it supports headset, which is microphone and headphones. We have two USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit USB ports. Looking at the side, we have a large air ingest area for cool air, and we have our Kensington lock. The other side also has a large air inlet. Now looking at the back, and starting at the bottom, we have our IO expansion panel. And there is a second gigabit uh, NIC port here, as well as uh, other accessories that Simply Nook is developing and has available. Start on the uh, far left side, we have our uh, 12 to 20 volt power inlet. The unit is shipped with a 19 volt power brick that's either 120 watt for the i7 variant of processor, or 90 watt for the i3 and i5. We have two HDMI 2.0B ports. These support 4K at 60 Hertz. We also have two USB 4, Thunderbolt 4, with alternate display port 1.4 that can support up to two. 4K at 60 Hertz monitors as well. You can connect up to six monitors, but the internal graphics can only drive four actively. We have a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port that is 10, 100, and one gigabit compliant. And then we have our USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit port, as well as a USB 2.0 port. And then you can see the hot air exhaust along the top. Before we open the inside, I've put on my anti-static uh, smock and wrist strap. And I wanted to show you on the lids of the 4x4 nooks. They are easily removed, starting from the back. And then looking inside, you can see the two Wi-Fi antennas. There is a large hole for cables from functional lids to run into the nook in, and around and plug into stuff. And you can see some additional air holes to get some better cooling. Looking at the bottom, we have two Visa shoulder screw holes. You put the screws in here and it hangs on a Visa plate or also uh, for mounting onto a keystone plate. We also have four zip tie loops. And then these four holes are, are to mount a 2.5 inch drive. Now I've pre-loosened the screws to speed things up, so let's take this off. Looking at the bottom plate and closer, we have the 2280 SSD cooling plate with a thermal gap pad, and we have the 2242. You can see the cable for the two and a half inch drive bay has been pre-disconnected and tucked in here so I can move the plate out of the way. Normally this would be wired. Now, looking at the inside of the new Wall Street Canyon, starting with the DIMMs, we have two DDR4-3200 sockets that support up to 64 gig of memory. In the middle, we have a, a M.2-2242 socket that supports SATA SSDs, as well as PCI uh, Express devices. Devices such as USB host controllers, or additional gigabit ports with their cables running down here to the IO expansion panel and allowing that IO to show up on the back panel here. 
You can see the flat ribbon connector for the 2.5 inch drive bay here. Next, we have under the 2280 SSD slot, we actually have our uh, 2230 wireless 6E radio. The 2280 M.2 slot supports PCI Express Gen 4 SSDs only. Well, PCI Express 3 and 4. We have two USB 2.0 connectors internally to drive I.O. expansions to the I.O. plate or for the lid. And then we have our front panel header right here. If you need to run a remote power switch uh, or LED status, you could plug in here and run through the back I.O. expansion hole. The Wall Street Canyon comes in five different processor variants. The standard Core i7, i5, and i3 for consumer usage, and the vPro i7 and vPro i5, which along with the TPM20 and AMT, are great for commercial applications where you need managed desktops. Head over to simplynook.com at the links below, custom configure your Wall Street Canyon, and thank you.